many families across Central Florida came here to the Orlando Police Department to decorate, show their love and support to all of those behind the badge. Colorful posters, words of encouragement, and smiles decorated OPD's headquarters. You know, you need that support system to have other wives to lean on and depend on. Jessica Anderson was among many law enforcement officer wives who came to support each other and those who protect us. It's hard being a spouse of a law enforcement officer. There's a lot of stress that comes with it, a lot of worry. And so to have that support system is really amazing. Her husband, Orlando Police Officer William Anderson, was run over during a traffic stop last July. He's recovering at a rehab center and he had spinal cord surgery last month. He then developed complications from that, had pneumonia, ended up in ICU for a couple weeks on a ventilator and everything, so mm -hmm. it was really scary. That's why events like today is so important. This is the fourth police department, the Florida Law Enforcement Officer Fire EMS Wives Group, stop by to show their support. This year alone, 92 police officers have been shot and 17 of those officers have been killed in the line of duty. So, uh, you know, it's great when people appreciate the fact that our officers are out there uh, protecting others while they sleep. I wrote, Daddy is my hero. Nine-year-old Abigail Staniland made posters and blew up balloons to help decorate where her daddy works. And I really want to tell him that I am really proud <clears throat> and I'm really happy that he is a police officer. And that's what the support system is all about. In Orlando, Thank you, Orlando Police Department. Jackie Orozco, Fox 35 News.